Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about tables in HTML. So please, and before we jump into that, make sure you have already subscribed to my channel. Thank you if you have already done that. Now, let me move ahead and talk about tables in HTML. You know, tables are used for presenting tabular data and abused for laying out pages. They can be inserted anywhere on the page, even within another tables. We'll be looking at creating a basic table and then adding lots of tags to it so we can just see what the outcome will be. So, the tags most used when creating tables are table, tgr for table row, td for table data, and th for table heading. Right, so now let's just have a look at a quick example as you can see there. So, as you can see there, let me let's just uh, see what it shows, okay, in our web browser. So, if you go in our web browser, you can see, okay, something like this. So, this is actually, okay, a table with a table heading and um, data, okay. So, let's just explain what we are actually doing here. So every table begins with a table tag and ends with a table tag, okay, as we can see there. So this one is the beginning and then, okay, this one is the end, alright, the closing tag. So in the table tag, you can define the attributes of the table as we are going to see, alright, in a, in, in a short while. So the table contains, that is rows, each begins with a tr. Okay, as you can see the tr opening tr tag table row and optionally ends with the okay this right so this one is optional but at least you should put it that's the good practice right so now as you can see there we have so actually this means this one is actually a row right so the table con contains row each begins with a tr table row tag and optionally ends with a tr tag rows must be inside tables right row must be inside tables okay tags it's very important that row should be inside this table so you cannot actually okay do something like you just put tr anywhere like that so it must be okay inside the table tag so the rows contain cells each begins with a tg okay but this one is actually a th we are going to explain that in a, in a minute right so normally okay as we can see there row rows okay the rows contain cells each begins with the tg table data tag and optionally ends with the tg okay tag cell must be inside rows okay so those are actually cells right so now if you put a table cell outside a row or you forgot it close to close cell or row or table it will have unpredictable results text intended to be in the table may appear at unexpected position outside the table at worst the entire contents of the table will not be displayed so now let us explain right as you can see there so we have this that is actually the result right so it doesn't look like uh, too much like a table yet but we'll add more okay so so this table is made up right of as we are made up of two rows check out the, the okay the, the, that is this one right this uh, cr right and this one so actually this one is for the headings right so you might uh, let us see um, and within each row there are two data entries okay the two dg cd right so that's two data entry right now you might compare a table with a spreadsheet this one has two rows two columns making four cells containing data right so and this th right is actually for the table heading this th as you can see okay in our browser it's actually for the table heading so we can also add what we call caption okay and headings so let us 
look how to add captions okay in our table so to do that just here okay just after the table the opening table tag just put caption right caption and then just give something i don't know so food okay uh, maybe it's not like your okay food and price let's just put something like this food and prices all right so let's go ahead and see what it shows in our browser as you can see there so that's the caption okay but uh, again uh, you are not seeing it it's not like it's, it does not fit like a table but don't worry as we move forward we're going to explain that in a minute right so again let me just put something that is more descriptive all right something here like formula okay formula um okay a result let me just put something like this formula and results okay here i can just put a formula okay sorry i can just put a right formula here and then here let me just put result okay we are going to see what we are actually doing in a minute so here we have a result now here let us see we have something like one plus one all right and then here we have something like okay normally the result is two here we can have something like a three times five and of course the result okay the result is uh, 15 of course so everybody knows that so let's go ahead and see what it shows in our browser as you can see there okay so these formulas and results is actually the caption okay captions are useful for defining or describing the content of the table they are optional so to add a caption to a table enter the caption element after the opening table tag with the text of the caption inside the element okay as you can see so caption um usually display outside the border of the table at the top as you can see there so the exact appearance and placement of the caption is subject to css styling right so we are not going to deal with that in this tutorial as another okay upcoming course so the table headings are a way to define of defining the contents of the table columns so they are usually used in the first tr table row right as these table headings the, the, instead of using cd for the table for the cell we use ch so this ch by default the text in the headings is displayed in bold and centered as you can okay as we are just from seeing in our browser so that's how the, the, the actually the table actually works so again um, a border around a table is optional okay so borders okay, sometimes they help to define the table and sometimes the table looks like okay looks better without them however hiring borders turn on while you are creating the table is very good in idea since it makes tables much easier to work with so you can get rid of the border once the table is complete so the, the, the table all right border is an attribute of the table tag all right so it's actually an attribute so we can just put something like this border right border something like this and then just give something like okay we think this double codes just give something like okay the size in pixels right so let's go ahead and see our table as you can see there so those are okay actually that's the, the, the result okay the outcome as we put this border with the attribute okay remember that this one is actually in pixels right if you change and put two five that will be in pixels okay the width of the, the, the border I hope you, you, you are getting the point so now we're going to talk also about the, the okay the, the the row span and the column span okay so every row must have the same number of table data occasionally table data have to span more than one column or row 
so in this case the tags okay call the tag called span and or row span are used where they are set to a number all right so again let's just sort of have it okay maybe let me just do something like this okay within this or td let me just put something like call span all right okay see the call span then eight x okay x is the number okay here we're going to have something like x something like this where x is the the number of columns that the cell okay spans across okay so just give a number okay let me just uh, okay of course or uh, call span so right so let's just give her uh, 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 something we can just put her uh, one okay or let's just say two of course you may not uh, okay see the result directly like this uh, let me just do something like okay let me just do something like this okay as you can see there so it actually this takes okay as you can see two columns all right so that's the, the the meaning of this okay that is spam okay with this two okay two columns and then put this so that's how it actually works and you can do the same with the the, the, the row spam okay but for the row you instead okay put in the t okay t g all right you can just also put like this so let me just put uh, something like her uh, it's exactly the same thing all right so just put uh, something like row span row and then row span just put a value right something here like this of course you cannot see that now okay let's just change something so that you can actually remember that this okay is actually let me just try to remove this and then so that you can see the result as you can see there right so that's how it actually works here is one right as you can see in our browser but now let us put two and then you can see the result of that okay as you can see there so that's how it actually works for the dodo row spam and the curl spans okay here just put this number is actually the number of okay the cells they do rows or column where it's going to actually expand okay so row span and column span okay you just uh, do it like that it's very okay straightforward so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial on tables in html which is also something very important okay as far as this language okay is concerned language for structuring web pages okay so thank you guys for watching and then don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next bye